Yes, it's Baby Niger Reunion episode 9 tonight. And honestly speaking, I acknowledge Fina and Beauty tonight. Like, they both added so much up. I never expected it. Like, a lot of people did not expect it. We thought that when it gets to their turn, it's going to be a heated argument. But it looked like Beauty is more pain about what led to her disqualification and how Groovy added and all that more than getting angry with Fina. So, like, people expected was both, but we didn't get to see that. So, the reunion started with Ebka asking question about the triangle between Diana, Rachel, and Giri Fire. Um, Giri Fire, the celeb. Honestly speaking, with Diana, uh, Giri Fire, and Rachel, the highlights of it for me was when Diana said that she and Giri Fire were getting really close in the house, and Ebka just quickly cut in. You know, Ebka knew how to put someone in spot and was like getting really close. And when did you start? <laughs> Say so when did you start having feeling? And Russia was not. I never had feeling in the house. I was just having fun. Oh my no, Miss Martin, I really know how to put people in spots. So Diana, on the other hand, explaining what happened between she, Giddy Pia, and Rachel. According to Diana, she, Diana says she has never been disrespected in her life. That, <laughs> that Giddy Pia disrespected her in the house and it was so much for her. And Rachel, on the other hand, said that she never had feeling for Giddy Pia in the house, that she was just having fun and Russia went on to direct to Diana and she was like if I wanted Giddy Fire in the house you would never have stood a chance what you mistook for chemistry was actually friendship like that she was not having any feeling for Giddy Fire that it was just friendship and Russia was like no you have the when you entered uh, this boy they enter your eye when you enter the house this boy entered your eye like you had him only when I f- I freed him. I was like, you know, say Russia, you know the, uh, Dan- Diana, you know they keep it her own tomorrow, and Russia went on to say, if I don't like him, uh, he say, and Russia was like, oh, if you didn't like, uh, it was telling Diana, if you didn't like uh, Gilifaya, where were you so pain? And Diana was like, because I was dis- because she was disgraced on national TV, the whole thing, and he humiliated her, that he would never tell her uh, that Gilifaya always come to her, Diana to tell her, I like you today, and then shortly he will see uh, Gilifaya kissing another lady that and her family we are watching that she was so embarrassed so that was this so fast forward to the whole thing between fina uh beauty and uh, groovy honestly speaking i so much admire these two ladies quietness their calmness the way they responded so much shortly they never try to engage themselves treading what the way people thought people thought that today gonna be was but like everything was scattered today like i love the way they responded like they were so coordinated even though at the end they didn't get to say i'm sorry for this i'm sorry for that like but they acted so maturely and i look at it that oh beauty is not even angry over maybe uh that's groovy, uh, Fina too groovy when she was disqualified. She was more angry at what led to the, her disqualification with groovy, not even Fina. Well, uh, Saif feel like the entire life, like he, have, he said that in his entire life, he have never seen a relationship that happened within three days. That's, uh, I think, Fina and groovy situation. Then again, uh, Sake said that he felt that Groovy was playing a game with the, with the entire situation of Beauty and Fina jumping around. He just felt like Groovy was playing a game. Groovy, on the other hand, was like, oh, Sake, bro, uh, to Sake's bro, you are married. I knew you like Beauty, not like you were, you were in competition or that I felt threatened by you. But because you were married, that's why you couldn't move to beauty and i'm like oh no, no be smart you know uh groovy came prepared to deal sakes also said that if he was the one with uh beauty that beauty wouldn't have been disqualified and he also said that he thought that groovy knew that uh, fina was strong in the house and that's why 
uh he was so quick to move to fina when fina uh when beauty left the left the house uh brian on the other hand was busy tackling groovy and he was like in the relationship matter that's uh from where he they come from that things where him experience say bro he be like say you they corny say groovy they corny so brian said like ha he was just like guy just accept and think with a full responsibility of what, accountability of what he did and all that let's move on and all that like hmm we be smart in today was like they were just tackling groovy on that relationship matter so beauty talking about so beauty talking about her relationship with groovy according to her she said that she genuinely liked groovy in the house like it's what the relationship for her it was not a game even that she's not like that outside like if she's in for this she's in for this so according to her she said she genuinely like uh groovy and she still appreciates whatever they shared and all that so she went on to ask groovy some certain question that led to her uh her disqualification at the top time it was just like they were trying to trend world trend world as uh, uh, for her she feel like uh Groovy said that she was abusive. Groovy said that she was violent when she left the house. And she was like, you know, up to this moment that she have not even said anything or in any way blame Groovy for her disqualification. Yes, she made a mistake and she acknowledged it. She learned from her mistake and she moved on that she's so pain that um she couldn't, uh, she would have, not mind groovy she couldn't have listened to groovy that night she would have tried and wash her alcohol intake and all that that at least she came for a show she came alone she never came with groovy and all that and that she so feel bad like going outside and hearing groovy saying that she was abusive she was violent and all that and she also acknowledged the fact that the only thing that she did to groovy that she felt that oh she should apologize that she have apologized not once not twice is body shaming groovy that she didn't even know what she said it that the next day that self was like you there's something you said about groovy when he she mentioned it she just closed her mouth and was like oh i never knew i did that she went and she apologized for that and she was like groovy did my hair touch you that night why do you why are you acting like this and she like she she went on to say oh she's an adult she's more mature that she will apologize to groovy that is so painful after everything like that she, everything good that she did for Groovy, she even made mention of the time she told Groovy to try to go around and meet the girls in the house, like find out if she's still the person that he wants and all that. That's why is Groovy making it look like she's a bad person and all that. I feel like mm, Groovy and Groovy were just looking, mm, I'm in love. I'm like, guys, honestly speaking, I just love their maturity today then over to she and fina issue so they asked uh, her i think they asked her uh about if fina was her friend they got asked and she said yes fina was my friend then when they asked fina was uh was beauty your friend she said no uh, she was my friend but she was not my friend like friend friend the only person we are three years in the house at the, at the time we came it's the only person i could call my friend then was amaka so basically uh, uh she's trying to say beauty was not her friend i don't understand that but so they went on to trash out what led to their fallout and all that and she was like oh there, there was no bad energy or anything of such that she just felt that back that's when she gets engaged with uh she started dating groovy that she felt like oh she even told groovy that she owned beauty explanation that 
if she leave the house, her beauty will be the first person she's going to see, and she will get to explain her part of story for her. So, according to Fina, she said what made her to even start making a serious move with Groovy was that Kes came to him, to her, and was like, um, and was telling her that, uh, that oh that before beauty was disqualified beauty told him case that oh fina has got eye for groovy and she was like this is the same person or oh, i always come to anytime he have uh, anytime beauty have issue with groovy i always try to step in and like encourage them and all that like i always try to make them to be back together again how can I do this kind of thing? And that was when she beat her chest and said, Okay, since she said this, I'm going to date this guy. If she want to buy me, she go buy. And that was that. And Beauty said that she never says something of such that it was just the way Kes explained it to her and all that. So, and I feel like she felt sorry for saying go and buy, but according to her, she said this is just a normal pigeon that everyone do use and all that. That um, uh, that she did not really say like beauty should go and buy and all that, and she felt bad for saying that word to her. But she did not say sorry. Then beauty in the other her hand said that she will not come here and sit and pretend that she never cared about Fina back in the house. She said no, that she do had yeah, uh, she do she cared about Fina back in the house and she could remember whenever Fina have issue with Groovy, even while she and Groovy were dating that she always tried to sort things out with them that it was bad and because Fina made mention that oh during the party one time I told her hi I even told Modella to tap her. I said hi, she did not respond, she snubbed me. So uh uh Beauty trying to explain was like because a uh, few times uh, Finn have shared her on social media and all that she also made mention of oh that she left the house she cared about Fina during the house like she, Fina was her friend that it was very bad that she left the house and she saw Fina saying things like she should go and die, like she felt bad about it. And that was the whole thing that she never felt bad because oh, because she left the show that Fina, uh, that, she, that if you're in the house, you know how it is, that she did not feel bad that when she was disqualified, that Fina went on to date Groovy, that she never felt bad, that she not be real sure, like, if you're in the house, like, being in a confined space, you really need someone to mingle and all that. She said that the only thing she regretted was talking to Groovy under the duvet, and she said that, guys, if you're coming to be in and I never talked to any guy under the duvet because they will not listen to you and all that, so... That's what basically they ran up those nights and Fina feel like the only way that she felt bad about whatever she did to uh, Beauty was she saying, oh, she should go and die and all that. And when the Ebka asked uh, Beauty, do you have anything to say to her? And Beauty say it is what it is. So Beauty and Fina, they really hand handled their matter much sure very much in a martial way even though they didn't get to say i'm sorry for saying this i'm sorry but they handled their their stuff in a martial way but i don't think groovy and beauty they still have a long way to go because this night they do not agree they do not agree uh this person was still feeling that oh i was bullied i was bullied uh she was violent of me she was insultive she bullied me grief was feeling like that i said oh mommy's boy so guys that was basically what happened tonight let's see how it goes tomorrow okay